live from the Sands Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada. Extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube covering HP Discover 2015. Brought to you by HP. And now your hosts, Dave Vellante and Jeff Frick. Welcome back to HP Discover, everybody. This is Dave Vellante with Jeff Frick, and we're here live. This is our second day at HP Discover. Check out hpdiscover.social. It's our new social digital experience. Alain Andrioli is here. He's the Senior Vice President and General Manager of HP's server organization. Great to see you again, Alain. Thanks for coming Great on. Great to see you, Dave. Hello, Jeff. How are I you see today? You. Terrific. So, things are good in serverland. Um, um, unbelievable uh, snapback in uh, the ISS business. Uh, you guys got a good spring in your step. And um, so, how do you feel? Transformation of HP, HP Enterprise, Hewlett Packard Enterprise, things are good. Yeah, we should not rest on our on our laurels. The, the servers business has been doing uh, well for the last few quarters, in particular the last three quarters. Uh, we had 17% growth in local currency last quarter, 11% in, in, in dollars. So we've been doing very well and we are very, very uh, happy to be one of the key components of the of the turnaround of, uh, of HP as a whole and uh, HP Enterprise now moving forward. Yeah, that's your wheelhouse, obviously. So what, to what do you attribute that that sort of snapback? I mean, you got Gen 9 product cycle, you got Windows Server refresh cycle, are those big factors? We've got Gen 9. So Gen 9, we are, we are, we are the more advanced in the, in the shift generation to generation from Gen 8 to Gen 9. We passed the 50% line several weeks ago. Uh, and the industry is not yet at 50%, so we, we know from various sources that we are, we are ahead. Our engineering team has done an exceptional uh, job for, for Gen 9. Um, we have a lot of traction with our new strategy, which I may talk about uh, later on if you wish, but yes, we, have, uh, we have really organized by product category and now by market segment, and we're basically moving from doing only the core generic server business to now go for business outcomes and for HPC, and you know we talk about that, but these edge service providers, HPC, mission critical, is giving us a lot of additional growth. Therefore, we're growing faster than uh, than the market, and certainly much faster than the traditional enterprise market. So, talk more about the, the, the new strategy, and if you could add some color to that. Yeah, so, uh, you know, for, for many years, you know, we've been the first uh, x86 uh, vendor uh, we, we we kind of created this this, this market mm. for many years um, it was about running sap running uh, crm you know running the classic enterprise types and have a good generic workhorse to do that so we generated the you know the proliant server line which is you know best quality resiliency performance and so on but what we've seen over time is that the market is going through a revolution with mobile, creating big data, creating the cloud, creating security concern, and many companies are reinventing themselves. And compute, IT, is becoming their core competency. And it means that one size doesn't fit all. We had to invent new server uh, optimized for workloads. And so our strategy is to go for all these adjust adjacent markets and segment the market accordingly. So we have the classic enterprise, which obviously is the, the majority of our business and we are doing very well with Gen 9. We have the SMB market, which is going to an all new beginning because now SMBs have the choice between staying you know, on-premise or going on the public cloud. Yeah. So we need to be very appealing to them in terms of cost, cost and in terms of unique appliances for the future that will do everything in one uh, you know, form factor. Then mission critical used to be for the big Unix workloads, right? Now it's going x86, it's going Linux. We have launched Superdome X. In a few weeks, we have won several hundreds of customers, so this is going very, very well. Um, then HPC and big data. We have created an all new line called Apollo. And uh, you may remember we, we spoke like a year ago, we were launching Apollo the first, the big, the huge supercomputer yeah, yeah. with water cooling and so on. Then we cascade the product line. We now have the 6,000, the 4,000, the 2,000, and this is growing like very, very fast. Yeah, we covered the reveal. That's uh, right. You Discovery did, right? Yes, so right. it was, yes. it was the, the tip of the spear. We started on the very high end, and now we're cascading to do basically a 
complete product line for the hyperscale market. Um, uh, new next generation of workloads. We were very innovative with Moonshot, and Moonshot has now find its you know its natural growth into three vertical markets: um, uh, video encoding, which is very fast growing, as as you guys know, <laughs> uh, and and so we're working with a number of ISVs in this market, making Moonshot kind of the de facto standard for that market. Uh, working very closely with Citrix for uh, the remote workplace which as people are more and more on the move, you know, is a, is a very fast growing market. And also solutions based on big net data for, for Moonshot. Uh, and finally, for cloud providers, uh, we are doing a great job uh, with our joint venture with Foxconn to do unique open standard, uh, bare iron as some people call it, OCP uh, platforms for the service provider market, which is our fastest growing market at this point in time. And finally, as the market moves to the internet of the things, more and more computers are being embedded in solutions. Solutions for medical, solutions for telcos, solutions for uh, transportation, solutions for the industry, and our OEM business, which is us offering platforms for the OEMs to integrate the complete systems, is becoming more and more prevalent, and we're investing a lot in that. That's our strategy. Yeah, so really dramatically changing the way that you think about R&D, how segmentation. You segment the market, how you uh, optimize products for those different markets? Each segment is learned, is led by a GM. The GM has got, he or she has got uh, her own R&D, her own marketing, the target set of customers and workloads, uh, and owns a PNL and therefore has the full, uh, the, you know, uh, the full, the full drive of this, this very, and this allows us to be, have the broadest product line on the market but at the same time, to come as one face to a segment of customers because we have positioned our products specially for them, for their business needs and for their business outcomes. It's interesting hearing you talk about Moonshot. We covered the Moonshot, the original Moonshot announcement too. It was you know, way ahead of its time. And we said at the time, the perfect system for Hadoop, being able to scale compute independent of, of storage, for example, and that's got to be a, a great use case for Yeah, for and so we, we have fantastic solutions for Hadoop, yeah. uh, Moonshot on the front end, and we can have a product called the uh, Apollo 4000 in, the, in yeah. the back end, but we are now developing server-based storage very broadly in partnership with HP Storage, so we have uh, some uh, ISVs like Cleversafe and Scality with whom we work very closely. Uh, and we kind of jointly go into market, and now we're developing a broad portfolio of server-based storage, uh, which allows to run Hadoop and you know applications that come on top of Hadoop very efficiently. It's one of our f fastest growing segments. Yeah, and, and uh, it's interesting, we had talked about this last time, the conventional wisdom was that the hyperscale market was going to go to the ODMs, and, and HP said no, <laughs> we're going to fight for that business. So I wonder if you could talk about that a little bit. You, you mentioned hyperscale, you're selling to service providers. That's a I mean, growth area for you. How could we have 17% growth if we were not uh, an ODM ourselves, right? So we, yeah, have, right. we, have, we have watched the, the, the market, where the market is going, and, and you know do our very best to morph ourselves into an ODM when the customers want absolute commoditization. Yes. And when the customers value performance, uh, differentiation, uh, then we've built the Apollo product line, which basically uh, has a different uh, performance level than what anybody else can do because it's purely designed for performance. And you've got a relationship with Foxconn, right? That's for that. the cloud line, yeah. uh, which is the service provider ODM-like offering. And this business has been growing very fast since we last, uh, we last talked. And we launched at the OCP Summit in San Jose uh, in March, our catalog product line, cloud line catalog. Uh, which uh, is now, uh, you know, uh, starting to to grow very well, very nicely. So OCP is interesting. I were you there at OCP? Yeah, we were there. Show? Yeah, we did were you there. see us on stage with the baby? Fu, uh, I did not Fu see Ming and I giving birth to a new baby. I did not see <laughs> yeah. the baby. We were doing key we interviews, so we didn't make it over to the uh, the stage. But it's an interesting paradigm. Well, so any, you know, the whole concept. I, w I didn't make it this year. I was there last year, but the whole concept of open platforms like that. Obviously, HP embraces openness. Where do you see that whole OCP trend going? So it's a segment, there is, there, is a, there is a segment of the market where it belongs, that's how we are looking at it, which are service providers. So we design this architecture for, together with Foxconn and you know, with feedback from customers for service providers. That's number one. 
Then there are adjacencies, which are some enterprise customers, which we call enterprise service providers, who have a big cloud in-house and look at this type of architecture to port in their own data center. This is the case in the telco segment, in the financial services segment, for instance, in the retail segment, where there are some customers looking at the portability of such architectures in their own data center. And we are supporting this uh, as well. We are supporting this totally open architecture. We are also supporting Microsoft WCS. Uh, but customers should not be confused with what we do on the ProLiant side. It's not for everybody. It's a different type of um, different type of business model, and we are supporting both. But customers should not be confused about using a pure enterprise uh, architecture such as ProLiant, Apollo, uh, Rack, Towers, Blades, and using CloudLine, which is really an ODM play. So you are more on your own. You have some cost benefits. Uh, but you, 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 you've got to do, go the extra mile for the manage, manageability of this architecture. And it sounds like your R&D focus has really been sharpened over the last couple of years. And, and I've always I've said for years, HP's got to get back to its roots and invent. It sounds like you're doing that in your group. We're doing, we're doing a lot of innovation where customers want innovation and differentiation. And when customers want commoditization, we're doing this as well. Because we, we are the market, I mean, one server out of three is an HP server in, in all the com market, market compounded, and therefore we've got to go to places where the customers need to go so that we continue to maintain this leadership and, then, and to defend our scale as well. Yes, right, and then of course you've got this whole convergence trend going on. So Maybe so, talk about that angle a little right, bit. Right, and so that's another angle, it's more in the enterprise, and so, uh, you know, customers have got the option of uh, being the assembler, of uh, the best of breed, which may come from HP or others, depending on you know whether this is compute or storage or networking and so on, or they may have the capability of using something that has been pre-configured, uh, composed basically from 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 an architecture that is that is modular, and uh, that's what we are doing in the Converge System Group, and soon we will be announcing a new architecture which we think is going to take the market by storm. Excellent, I'm, I'm sorry, we're getting the high sign. I don't know if you, you have to go, get ready for the keynotes, <laughs> I guess. And, uh, In case you forget me until last time, I am from HP, and my <laughs> name is Allah. <laughs> oh, there <laughs> we, we go. We had some fun in our, in our keynote <laughs> That's today. That's great. We each had a letter behind us, and so I have a C, the first letter for compute, and we had the six other GMs presenting with compute in the back. <laughs> Terrific. Having some fun here Thank at you. HP Discover. Thank you. Alan, Thanks very much for coming to theCUBE. It was great to see you again. And congratulations on the recent success and, uh, and, and, and good continued hit tailwinds we wish you. So thank you. Thank you. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest right after this word.